Hello Crystal Souls and welcome to the Picky Card Reading. Today is going to be about your fate and all the secrets associated to your destiny. So let's discover these ones. If you're new here, welcome. If you want, you can join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. And now for personal guidance, you can find all the information in the description or the pinned comment. Same thing with my TikTok and also some exclusive meditations. So now for this reading, I'm going to be shuffling with you using charm stickers. This way it's going to be complete and you can get all the information, so make sure to stick until the end. Now take your time, I'm going to present you the pulse. So we have pound number one. Pound number two. And pound number three. When you are ready, give it a timestamp and a comment down below. Take your time now, meditate, pause the video if you want, and I'll find you on your pile. Let's meditate together. So let's see secrets about your fate for pile number one. So first, with this card, I'm seeing a mirrored energy. Everything that you feel emotionally is going to be mirrored around you. So I think what's part of your fate is also to be in control with your emotions. I'm also getting some twin flame vibe, if I'm being honest here, because anything that you may experience as karma or lessons or leveling up with the soul or soul knowledge and development, your soul is also, so your split soul, is also experiencing the same things. So if you pick this one and if you are in this twin flame union or in this twin flame journey, this is all about it. I feel like you're meant to be with somebody who is going to reflect a lot about yourself, but also you're attracting everything in your life around you because it is mirroring your current state, how you feel, how you think, how you view things. So if you want to be in control and manifest something different or attract with more freedom um, something that you want, then align with this energy and embody the person that is receiving that gift, receiving that experience or receiving that person. It all depends what you're targeting, but pretty much your fate is to be attracting anything you desire, anything that is in resonance with your current state, so you can also level up, free yourself from the story and become actually stronger. So. There is probably something that is a bit triggering you these days um, that's actually very emotional or just kind of affecting you deep down. I'm kind of getting the throat chakra being affected as well because we have the blue color popping here. And that can also be a lack of communication or lack to be received with what you share to the world. But I think you're meant to be a messenger and this is why I think maybe you, you are born in a family where you're not listened or acknowledged or accepted. And that is fine because you are practicing with them to then trust your own voice, trust your truth, and so you can help more people, which is why you can see the circles or the ripple effect. This that is affecting you is actually going to trigger that empowerment for you to be in the right circle. Because with the ripple effect, that is the circle you create. That is also telling you, you came here to feel accepted, to be seen, and to be encouraged to be a true being, and to speak your truth in this reality, in this experience on earth. So do not be afraid to be bold, to be confident, to not let anybody stop you to be who you truly are, or to voice what you want. If they don't like it, that's their problem, that's their choice, that's their filter. It doesn't mean this is something wrong that's with you or something wrong that you said. It is just the way they interpret everything about you. So are you going to give it more power or more meaning or instead are you going to keep on going and believe in your voice, believe in yourself and your dreams and make that shift and change happen? I think this card is really setting the mood in a way it's like, okay, time to empower yourself, stop stop giving too much importance to your current reality or current state or current feelings. Because if you listen to it and describe it as you or your story, you're going to face a wall and you're going to actually drown with your feelings. But instead, if you allow yourself to change the reality, change the shadow in the mind, change the way you feel your life and interpret everything that is around you or within you even, this is going to be freeing. And this freedom is going to lead you towards that empowerment. So 
definitely something strong and I forgot about the cards but I'm like oh yeah of course because we have the tower so this tower moment and I'm not wanting you to be afraid of it because this is empowerment my friend old structures are crumbling down the tower as to fall so you can rebuild yourself or rebuild re your reality in a way that's going to be freeing yourself enough to be experiencing what you want or to get what you want so the truth and secrets about your fate is you are the creator you are stronger than anything they could say about you or see within you all that you need to do right now is to recognize the power, recognize what you can do, what you want to do as well. So you can lead the way towards that construction, let's say, or that rebuild. So in my opinion, all that is around you that's crumbling down is actually pointing out the things that need to hand. Rather, it's the structure itself or the pattern or how you react to certain things. So I know this is difficult, I know this is actually a phase that may be difficult or um, that will be a phase because that empowerment or transformation and change that is manifesting is sudden. But this is sudden because the universe and your guides, they know you are ready. They know you're ready to know the truth, to follow your truth, to rebuild your kingdom or quindom and so you can shine because I'm sure maybe the state you are in or everything around you at the moment is crumbling because you are not doing what you want or saying what you want or being who you want to be and this restriction or this this sense of not feeling well inside or kind of questioning who am I or what am I supposed to do this is going to lead you in this place of empowerment for you to build something of value okay so remind yourself and even here the queen and the king are falling apart falling down so that tells you also even the people you admire even these idols or celebrities or masters or yogi you actually love they also go through that so this itself is a phase we all have to go through to level up and this tower moment is really shaping you in a form that you are supposed to embody today but also pushing you on a path that is meant for you to explore so ask yourself without listening to the fear or to your ego or to the character that you are as a human being but instead listen to your soul and try to see what is something you would do for example if money was not a thing what would you do today I'm sure you have something that animates yourself. I'm sure you do something without expecting anything back. And you do this for the people, for the earth, for the animals, even for yourself. And ask yourself then, what is that? And now cultivate and build that tower with that foundation of that dream to see everything finally come to the surface, come to life. But there's change and you need to work towards it. Because as you can see with the Seven of Wands, it's about putting the energy, putting the effort. Okay, working hard is necessary. I'm not saying that you are not working hard now. But if you want to make that dream happen, first trusting yourself, feeling good, and being in the right environment with the circle. I think that's about it as well. And also understanding what needs to hand and change to build what you want with more energy, also more of a vision because you know exactly what you desire, it is going to lead you towards that power and also towards that awakening within where you know that is for me, that is something I want to do. But honestly, I'm seeing somebody who can be independent, who is very lucky and supported, who is a good communicator or creative. And with the red color appearing here, this is for me representing the flame, this burning desire, all that you want to be doing. But also with red as the root chakra, this is for me success that's coming for you because you put the effort and the work into what you're passionate about. So keep on going. If you do something that you're satisfied about, where you see you have an impact rather on 
your life, your success or the people, then this is really the hint that you're doing or being in the right in the right path. So keep on working, put the work into it. The hormer is also a tool that you use as a, a, like a strong person. So that means putting your strength into it, putting the energy into it. Even once is about energy, that's about the magic. So anything that you actually cultivate with your energy and put the effort into is going to now come um, come to the surface or come to life. Even the sun is shining here. So that is reminding you of your success and the success you're building at the moment because you're putting the effort into it. And with a train appearing uh, on the background and the mountains, the train can be talking about the transition, the change we saw with the tower, but so that can be change of destination, change of path. If you feel cool to go somewhere as well, this can be the case, and I saw 444 while saying that. So that can be your guides encouraging yourself to make that transition or to actually travel to a new place or settle down new foundation in a new country or new city. And also I'm seeing another hint for you because you can see building and the tower. This can also be that you will get your place pretty soon, whether it's a new apartment, a new, a new house, or just the sensation or feeling at home. And I think your fate is about it. If you're not feeling at home, feeling seen, or seen as a person that is doing their best, you're not in the right environment or doing what is actually meaningful for the people and for you but also here where you have to prioritize your own feeling um, and your own satisfaction and fulfillment and as for the mountains that i talked about before you have to feel grounded in one area we have to know that you know if you feel good if you feel like you're doing something meaningful and significant for you and you're seeing the results as a reward all the time and you appreciate the way that everything evolves then you feel grounded. But if you're not feeling this way, maybe rest is needed, but also finding what is actually meant for you is the right, the right answer for the moment for you. So let's see what's part of your fate, all that is coming for you, what you can expect, all that you guys. Okay, I'll take the maze because they told me this is the one for you. So the maze can be the sensation of feeling lost, not knowing what, where to go, what to do, what's best for you. But the maze is also reminding you that through that exploration with the ways or the path that are not available, this is like a block and you encounter the wall, you are recognizing what is truly what you want to reach. And I think that's also what the tower moment was talking about. Feeling lost and exploring different paths which are not for you is helping you to find your own road. It's helping you to find your own self. So your fate is also about it. You came here on earth to experience that, to feel lost, to feel locked down maybe, or to feel, oh my goodness, this is a trap. Um, but the thing is, no, it is not. This is part of what you need to actually embrace. You know, feeling lost, feeling trapped, not being certain, or things not being certain, but because you know you're the creator, and if you put the work into what is bright as a sun, or what is actually the target for you, the aim, then you can make everything better. See, so in a way, the maze is yourself. Exploring yourself, traveling, and, and know oh, this is fitting or this is not. And... When you can always adapt and see what's actually best, you can also find your road. And here we have the sun and look at the position. And I told you, if you feel overwhelmed, if you're putting the work into something and you're not seeing results, can be a mental block, can be the, the feelings as well that is blocking the way for this magic to happen. And I feel you guys because I feel this way these days, because I'm out of my alignment with the way I feel and even my mind sometimes is just a bit off, then I see the reality around me actually matching my current state. So that's why if you do not feel good, if you do not feel right, take the time to rest. As for the sand, this is to me representing a metaphor in a way that when you want to hold on something so tightly, it comes off of your palm. If you try to take the sand in your hand, you'll see that everything is just going to fall apart. But if you just hold on like this, you have last chance 
to see everything dripping off. So there's also a way for you to know if you want your fate and destiny and your dreams to manifest, not being too clingy about it is going to be the recipe for that success to manifest effortlessly. So because you trust it, you're not holding on to it. You know it's coming. You don't stress about it. You keep on working towards what you want and then you see the sun behind you. It's something you're not facing yet. It's behind or maybe it's coming as a plus, as more because you can experience success already, of course. But maybe you want more and you're not seeing it coming, but it is. It's behind you. So keep on going, keep on working. But don't stress about it, you know, meditate, relax, and trust. Trust the process, trust yourself. So let's see with the BTS cards, what is coming for you, what's part of your fate? <sighs> this is everything we talked about, so I'll show you. And every, like the, the, the same energy is coming on the two cards. I think spirits today are just very communicative and I love it. So we have lived this mental prison and we talked about this. The mind is creating that scenario, that reality. It is scripting everything around you. So when you can actually shape something different in your mind, more power to you. And we talked about that prison aspect with the maze and even the tower. So if you want to really free yourself right now, you need to also free your mind from that conditioning or that mindset or the way that you tend to talk about your reality or feel about your reality. And here as well, you can see the prisoner. So instead of seeing yourself as the prisoner, see yourself as your freer, see yourself as the magician. You don't need to pay for your past mistakes. And maybe what you're feeling drained about is your past, is the mistakes or the things that didn't work for you. But this is because it needed to change. This is not working against you. This is working for you so you can find a new path which is more fitting for your happiness and aligned with your true calling so there is something important i believe that your guides are wanting to protect and tell you no 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 if you feel like you are trapped or if you feel like a prisoner if you feel you are conditioned or blocked and limited not for you. You came here to free yourself. You came here to explore and to decide for yourself, to actually lead the way towards what is truly meant for you and what can truly make you happy. It's a bit too much. So let's see what's next for you, what's related to the secrets. But also I think that's all about your potential, all about what you came here to experience and what is meant for you. Still too much. Spirits are really generous. <laughs> so let's see. What's part of your fate? Okay. Fight for what you believe in. I'm telling you. And that's why you can see that type of prison ending, that tower. And it's funny because if you saw the, um, and even if you read the, the tale, the tale from, um, what is it called? You know, that princess that is locked in the tower and the prince is meant to, I think that's Rapun Rapun Rapunzel, I don't know. I don't remember, but that's a tell pretty much where the princess is waiting. Even in Shrek, you can see that, <laughs> that story. And she's waiting for the prince to free herself. And I think that's also telling you, no, you have to free yourself solo. Like, explore the maze, but find the, um, the exit on your own and if you believe in yourself and fight for the things you believe in you'll find the answer you'll find the road okay so believe let's see what's next for you related to your fate so we have superiority and symbols so i think that's related to that superiority i think it's about feeling superior and not giving too much interest to your current reality and understanding that if you can detach yourself from what's happening and see from above then you can see the symbols the signs actually supporting that ascension so you are bigger and better than whatever they see in you you're not the prisoner anymore because you're seeing with transparency what is your truth and what is the truth all around so that's really encouraging yourself to understand the guidance that's available to you and feel now superior 
and not react too much to what is currently happening around you because you know that you're bigger than this and stronger than this and you deserve better than this. So keep on going. In Andre you see a lot of synchronicities and symbols and numbers like 1111 11 all the time or like 111, 222, angel numbers. All of this because they're guiding you towards this empowerment for you to be led in a place where it's fitting for you and where you are destined to explore. So really see this as a message, let's say, for you to recognize what you can shape in your reality and what you can experience. So let's see some angel messages now. So rather from you guys, higher self or angels to see what they want you to know related to your fate, all the secrets related to it. All right. Gift from God. We angels bring you gift from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Can you see the beauty? And I talked about this. If you can really celebrate each step of the way towards the big target or the big goal, then you receive the reward all the time. So feeling grateful and also welcoming what's provided to you. And I also think your guides in a way are angels. They are providing you that reward or award even for you to just recognize that what you're doing as an impact and as an importance. And it should be this way. But also that reward is within. You, you need to feel that doing something that you love is rewarding in itself. So let's see one more message from them. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or a book. So that is for me especially related to if you are if you are a creative person, if you love to write, but also if you can use scripting to manifest what you desire or block or maybe you know, write down how you feel, this is going to be freeing in a way. But making time to write down how you think, how you feel, is also, going to, is also going to be pointing out the things that maybe are out of alignment with maybe your higher self, or that can be out of what you want to be feeling now. And so this itself, like I said, is going to be freeing, but also shaping the energy or the emotions you feel differently. So let's see more messages, rather from your higher self or anything you need, you need to know about your fate. All right. And it's funny because I talked about twin souls and I have a message here from my twin flame. So, I'll be the moonlight and stay in your dreams and then I'll be broken by the dawn again. Don't worry about me and please be as beautiful as you've always been. When the flower falls, I'll live with the joy of being hit by the wind. There's a sense of freedom, but also accompaniment. So just understand if you are on this twin soul journey or if you are aligning now with soulmates, you will be attracting people who are going to serve your ascension and, and allow yourself to be just more alive within. The best is yet to come. <laughs> I love it. And I found my life when I let it down. So, I, this is so like tower moment. Okay, now I need to face what's happening and I'm gonna allow this to crumble down if it needs to fall apart um, or just falls or, or just be more clear in front of your eyes so you can just understand what's there. So let's continue with the other techniques. Let's go. So pile number one, let's see your chimes. Okay, so let's see. First I'm seeing romance. So it could also be this person which is special to be, oh, seeing twin flame, telepathic connection. Or with this person you're in love with, you're developing a telepathic connection with. So let's see. Kind of getting defense or defending your dreams. <laughs> kind of seeing French as well. If you sing the R. Here we have the mushrooms. I'm seeing growth expansion for you. As for the cup and the teacup, 
This is telling you to serve yourself first, serve your cup first. And same thing in a relationship. You cannot love somebody if you cannot love yourself. So love yourself, cultivate yourself and be ready before actually sticking to somebody. Here I'm seeing success sticking for you and this is part of your fate. Also following with the footstep, I'm seeing this as following the calling that is actually important for you. Because the footsteps talks about the influence or the impact and what you leave behind you. And so that itself is inspiring other people. Also, anchor yourself to the things or people that you know are going to allow yourself to feel empowered and to travel to or experience and transition towards what's best again the starfish so success will be sticking to you good people will be sticking to you romance as well is coming for you guys let me think i'm also getting that with the twin flame connection i'm getting here this person may be traveling to your place and then sticking to each other you know the two starfish coming together that's the type of energy i'm getting so we had friends as well, let me see, kind of getting China for this can be Asia globally. Mm, we have Europe as well, or can be US. No, we don't have US, but maybe if I said it, could be a reference. I'm thinking of Florida as well with FD. I think that's all that's coming to my mind, but of course, if you can see, for example, your gantry or initials or blaze, whatever that is, this is for you. Let's move on with the stickers. Let's see. Okay, what's part of your fate? You don't find love, it finds you. It's got a little bit to do with destiny, fate, and what's written in the stars. Isn't it perfect? This is not even meant to be here. This is meant to be an tiny message box. So far, so good. So far, so good. We have the picture, or that can also be related to... Um, I, I'm not sure if this is in this group that I said. Um, I think it is. No, wait, no, I don't know. Uh, but this can be some phone connection, creativity. Let me pick this one. Um, creativity, but also I'm seeing internet as well. So if you want to work on the internet, this is also where you are going to be making things happen. But also if you want to be studying, rather it's with YouTube or classes online, could be. We have tech arrest. So don't pressure yourself, take a rest when needed. Keep on writing your story with a hink. Or you can be an artist with a hink, you can be a writer, you can also be a painter here, or in the arts. Sing the fall. And this is exactly what we saw with the tower, if I'm being honest. You're praying still. So keep on hoping for the best because you are designing the best. Yeah, you're fearful of that transition. I know you're afraid of change, but this is really the best change ever. You can see people coming for you, providing you all that you need on the table. So being served, but having best friends, sticking to them with, you know, the, the ribbon. So this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this beautiful fate and these secrets. And if you know, hear me too to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next reading. Call number two, let's see the secrets about your fate. So first of all, with this beautiful card, I really love the colors. This is very dreamy to me. And I think this is also telling you that anything to dream about is going to now be reflected in your reality. Because if you look at the card, you can see the water reflecting the clouds. And for me, when I think of the clouds, I think of somebody with their heads in the clouds, always daydreaming, always dreaming about something that's, you know, just more beautiful and more meaningful for them. So that is also leading the way or clearing the way for you to explore that road. And I'm saying that because you can see the boat. And the boat is to me representing that type of transition or travel, which is going to lead you in the best direction for you to be experiencing what you came here to experience. 
meaning experiencing your dreams, manifesting your dreams into your reality. So anything you're passionate about, anything that is actually calling your soul at the moment, or you know is actually what you want to paint in your reality, this is the road. And I think that's a way for you to know if you're a big dreamer and people have been telling you you dream too big, or this is not possible for you, F that shh. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just swear because that is not the path for you. That is not what you need to hear. That is not what you need to give power to, especially. So instead, free yourself and allow yourself to live the dream. Allow yourself to live different. Allow yourself to be the one, maybe in your family, to be successful or to be doing what you want. And not what society wants for you, not what your parents or teachers or people around you think you are supposed to be doing. What do they know? They don't know about your soul's contract. They don't know about your purpose. They don't know about your callings. And they have no idea about your dreams. But you know. And because you know, you need to follow the path for you that is on your map of the soul. BTS. <laughs> anyway, but just saying, you have to really recognize what is animating you, what is calling you, and what is something you cannot live without. All that is actually going to make you feel more recharged or happy or just more alive. Do you see what I mean? So do not settle down for something they want you to do or that seems to be easy as a path because you're not supposed to live an easy life. You're supposed to live independently because we have the hermit coming right after but with the water, can you see the coolness and the peace actually appearing with the way it's painted? The river is cool. There's no hesitation. And I think that's also what you want to be experiencing. Your fate is to feel that energy, ground that energy in your reality and keep on moving. That means, you know, it's not like a, a wave. You know, it's still the water. It's still about change. The river, it's more, no. I'm going to make that decision and wisely travel to the direction, to the dream, to the goal or to the person I want to be exploring. Do you see? So this is part of your fate. Trust enough to feel that peace within and to follow with ease what you desire and what you dream about especially. As for the colors, we have pink and blue. Pink can be related to friendship or friends and good connections. This can also be related to childhood dreams. So that can also be, if you don't know where to go, ask your higher self and your inner child especially, where are you supposed to be going? What is animating yourself? Or what you used to be doing as a kid? Because this was something that, you, that was actually fun for you. You were not questioning it or just expecting something out of what you was doing with excitement or just to entertain yourself. So this that she was doing and mastering since childhood is where you need to go. That's part of your fate and purpose. So for the hermit, like I said, I'm gonna be honest with you, the path you're supposed to be exploring related to your fate and destiny will feel a bit lonely sometimes. But this is the path where you feel more rewarded because you do something that is significant for you and not for the satisfaction of the mass or the, the satisfaction for your parents. You do something just for yourself so you can be happy and fulfilled and just be proud of all the things you can explore on your own. So trust yourself in the process because I think the more you do, the easier and the fastest is going to be for you to explore what is truly making you happy. So on the court, I'm seeing empowerment as well with the deer, because the deer is the king of the forest. So this road that you explore alone to find clarity and answers and to also recognize who you are, your talents and potential, this is going to lead you towards that empowerment. Also understand, even though it seems to be a lonely road, even though you feel like you are the only one trusting your dreams, trusting yourself or even supporting what you do, that is enough. And honestly, if I'm being honest, you will not be alone for too long because when you do something you love, you attract people on your path because first of all, you vibrate higher, but also they see that spark within you and they want to learn it from you. Trust me, I've been there. I know that it is a very lonely road to 
be the only one to trust yourself and be the only one to actually decide what to do without having somebody around telling you I believe in you or I'm proud of you or what you do is significant even if they don't see it you do and when you do nothing is stopping you and that gives you the fuel and energy to keep on going so even though you want you know that recognition and and you want to be recognized by the people that are meaningful to you or that were around you while growing up just understand sometimes they will not see it but the people will see the value in what you do and really connect with your energy and essence and soul they'll be here just like you guys are here for me and i feel a lot more close as a family with you than the people that live with me so i know it sounds crazy but sometimes you have to recognize that maybe what is more valuable for you is more of the soul family that you entertain or the connections you entertain with people who can really support who you are and what you do then be with people that can be called family but feels like stranger it may not resonate with anybody but if it resonates with you just know you're not alone absolutely not and your soul family is everywhere around you and when you do something that really awakens your truth and just allow yourself to be your authentic self you'll see they'll just appear and you can manifest them if you want if you really feel lonely you can manifest your soul family or even you know connect with the crystal soul family in the comments i'm sure you'll find a lot of soulmates so just saying but never believe you're alone even though you are in this hermit mode or you feel like this i still think it's a necessary phase for you to recognize who is worth your time who is worth your company and with you trusting yourself and only listening to yourself and the clarity you receive or guidance you receive this will lead you towards that empowerment like i said and there's a new beginning for you as you can see with the ace of swords and this new beginning for me is related to <laughs> again the soul family connection but i'm also seeing this as the web the web so related to the internet if you want to make that happen if your dream is to be popular on the internet and to make things happen and to be independent or be a business person start your own business start your own career start your own channel maybe or start on a platform that is supported especially if you get that guidance maybe on the internet or the message the clarity you're searching for on the internet or the teaching you want to be making that success happen but if you want to start something on your own this is actually the path for you and this is actually the best idea um that is supported divinely but this project that you think about the dream that you entertain in your mind this is leading you towards that new beginning new flow and you can see the sword and the way that you know the hand is actually holding on to that sword there's a sense of victory with this new path new idea so that is also reminding yourself that when you feel good about something or determined or if you just feel recharged and if you have this energy to fulfill that prophecy and path or if you just trust with complete um like complete faith all that you want to be doing you'll get that energy you'll get that reward as well but everything is in your hands remind yourself of this and as for the sword this talks about the truth so what is your truth what is the calling and i think your fate is really aligning with that new flow new inspiration and project that you think about maybe that project you want to be studying on the internet or with the web that can be with your soul family or with the people that feels like they're connected to you but there is definitely with the cords here a connection the cords can also be representing the energetic cords so from our chakra or energetic points um in our bodies or souls and beyond of course um that are connected to the people that are meant to be now entering a life so if you are wanting to ascend and then be encountering or even now encounter your soul family that's the path and that, that's also what is for me activating and being presented in your life so this new beginning can also be related to communication friends um or opportunities and connections with anything that you desire anything you aim for and you can see this big 
knot in in the middle with the cords i think that's the center the magnetic energy or anything that links every every people in your soul family so there's one thing one calling one mission or something that's there and you may be awakening to that point let's say with that trigger so you can then also connect with them but i think there's a higher mission and higher purpose in these connections that you are awakening and starting to finally call for but of course that can also be related to the things you tried if that represents the cord meaning all the things that you experienced before the things you attach yourself to then now it is presented to you okay i'll take these two we have the tween it's only because the first part was talking about twin flames and here we have the twin as well but that can also be related to the energy around you matching your own energy so becoming your twin but definitely it's about twin souls so i guess that's also telling you when doing something that aligned with your fate and destiny and calling and anything that aligned with something you're passionate about and that can serve the earth or the family or soul family and ascension and empowerment this is when you will encounter or this is when you will unite <laughs> with the tween with your tween or if not a twin so of course that can be people in your soul family the label is not really important but that's especially a sign for twin flames that you picked the right pile if you was a bit hesitant with pile number one and pile number two i can see a connection maybe you are one of these piles and the other pile is your tweeny but i think they are connected in some way even the message can resonate um and connect so if you felt guided to watch these two piles i'm not even surprised but definitely i'm seeing twin soul encounter coming into union and also i think that is in a way telling you you're not alone even though it feels this way but you are accompanied maybe the the deer is actually the spirit form you know kind of like in harry potter when they do the spell and then like they see the spirit light form in front of them as the memory projection so that can also be related to how it is you know with like so um like so apparitions in your in your universe in your reality maybe you sense your twin flames energy maybe you sense their souls around you and if you feel a certain way sometimes you can feel their presence or their motivation and their cheerful energy but definitely you can feel them from the distance maybe the chords we're talking about the chords as well between your two souls if you don't know what a twin soul is because i heard that some people do not know about this um a twin flame this is pretty much let's say you are this big wholeness you know with hands um and as twin souls you choose to split in two forms divine masculine in essence and divine feminine and these two forms of existence light form and essence are coming into two different beings so two different bodies or two different life force that can be a tree that can be a flower that can be the wind it will depend what spirit you want to experience so coming into different forms you are actually two splits separated and that's why maybe if you were if you were born um, and always felt you couldn't really connect with your family or couldn't really connect with the people around you and you always felt like something or someone was missing could be on a soul level you was feeling it you know if you are the black sheep in the family or if you felt nobody is just understanding you on that deep level that can be why or but like i said if you really felt like an orphan or out of out of tune with everything and everyone around you and you you kept on feeling like something was coming or someone was coming that's why of course you can feel it on a on a soul level with soulmates not saying this is not possible but with a twin soul it feels like something within you is missing do you see what i mean so let me pick the other cards on the floor okay and we have the luck so your fate and all the secrets related to your fate i think it's about to unlock you may actually be guided 
towards the truth right now and towards that empowerment. Like I said, this is going to smoothly manifest. There's no pressure in the way that things or that new beginning is going to be built or presented to you. But still, I think you have to unlock also your power because you can see the wings as freedom and this is not an outer like outer perspective the wings are coming from the lock so that's also telling you with the maybe the things that will lock you down or block you or the fears that may be awakening as a block as a barrier is also triggering that freedom so you can also kind of you know unlock yourself and level up so you can be in in the right environment or just in the right state of being to be doing or working on your fate. But really your fate is related to your dreams, to your calling, to that independence, empowerment. So you can also be experiencing that freedom. So let's see more hints related to what is meant for you. All that relates to the secrets of your fate. Okay, I talked about the web, right? And can you see here, internet fame? This is so connected, I'm, I swear. If you really want to make it online, if you really want to be building a community, and if you really feel the urge to do so, this is your true calling because you're meant to be seen and inspire more people. And honestly, the internet as light workers or star seeds or even just as persons to inspire people it is huge like just imagine before internet how you could impact people you had to be a freaking celebrity you had to be on tv but now you can just take your phone start an account and boom this can manifest and you can also be connecting this way you don't have to be a huge idol and celebrity to do so and to impact people and to really you know do something that may trigger their empowerment or just encourage themselves it depends what is calling you and what you want to be doing on this platform but anything you're doing is significant so use your skills and talents but also try to find a way to have a presence online because i think this will change your life but also this will change people's life because your influence, your mastery and what you want to be sharing is going to be felt on another level. I can, I can tell. Even the hermit on the original tarot is holding the, the, lamp, the lantern. And the lantern for me talks about actually light workers because they are spreading their lights. So that is for me what you came here to do. Even on a twin soul journey i see that you're meant to be a messenger if your twin flame is famous online or a celebrity or even doing something that is allowing this person to shine so bright i'm not even surprised because like i said you are you too i'm not just talking about your twin you too are meant to unlock that power trust that soul knowledge wisdom and so you can then work independently on something that is calling you okay so really follow that destination because you are meant to... i'm just saying the card and i'm like this is exactly what i talked about with the locket so nothing will stop you you can see the barrier is jumping off that barrier so i really think you have been experiencing so many different blocks or it, it seemed to be like it but the thing is you're recognizing no it was actually a challenge for me to pass and jump off so i can level up and master grand things but this was not stopping me never so really see that as an opportunity for you to grow and for you to pass that challenge with more freedom because we saw that with the wings so now let's see with the next cards perfect <laughs> We have friends, and I think this talked about this talks about the soul family. A bit of a T in the corner of my lip. <laughs> anyway, so that is for me related to that community or friends. Or you know, I even talked about the crystal soul family in the beginning, and I think that's also related to what you can experience with the community. The fact that you can feel like friends or family and feel very good with the people you can empower and influence, which is um inspire in a way with what you do so really i'm saying that you will encounter people and that is part of what you came here to experience so i know that some people they want to be alone they want to work on 
on their own or they just want to stay at home but i think when you can allow yourself to connect on a deeper level and maybe on the internet this way you can be with the people that are going to be bettering yourself or just changing your life for the better so trust the process and understand that the people around are really supporting that empowerment in this new flow and beginning that you're starting and also what is animating you and awakening as like the the freedom that needs to be expressed and that empowerment you saw on the card this is supported and here we have tournament so i'm seeing a competition um kind of like a, a competition with maybe with yourself or maybe with the people around you they do not understand what you're doing but you are competing to win the trophy and you will win the trophy because i'm really seeing yourself as harry potter here even on the card the perspective you see like you are a part of and you have amazing friends and supporter no matter what you're doing they will always be here so all that you will encounter as a challenge or as a leveling up in a teaching it will be benefiting you for you to win the trophy and for you to win win the game pretty much <laughs> okay so keep on going and never 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 give too much importance to anything, any situation or anyone, if this is not freeing yourself to become who you dream to be. So let's see messages from your guides, angels, and higher self related to your fate, passion. I am telling you, you are meant to follow what you want and to do whatever you desire and what you dream about. Anything that aligns with your passion, but nothing less than this. So the message, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career so more passion in your connections with that lover with that twin flame maybe or soulmate or beyond but definitely more passion more love and doing the things you love entertaining this beautiful energy so let's see one more message from your guys and angels okay i'll take these two so we have at outdoors and we talked about this going out exploring connecting with new friends or studying online these connections go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas so i think also nature may inspire yourself with the way it grows with the way it adapts even when there's the wind or the rain, all of this, you can see the flowers or everything around in nature is still standing. And with the wind, you know, the trees, they dance with it. They are not going to be like, no, I'm resisting it. So they crack if they do. So instead, be just like this, adapt like nature and surround yourself with nature because you can also recharge yourself with their energies and allow it to happen. Allow the trees, the, the, the earth, even plant your feet on the ground close your eyes and feel all the energy of the earth feeling your body but really and even when I feel down if I'm being honest when I go in nature I feel recharged and brand new because this really recharges yourself in a way that's very pure and loving and and you will feel it so if you can do that more power to you hello from heaven okay that's really good your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel the loving blessings so that can be a message from people that are actually not here anymore so if you lost someone that can also be telling you okay time to focus on yourself and to do the things you love because we support it even here we are not here even if you cannot see that we're supporting you and encouraging yourself to be doing what you're here to do we are here. Also, I feel that's in a way your your soul family or of course ancestors, um, which are really encouraging yourself to keep on going. And you can see even with the way the angel is standing here, like, hey, we here, like, don't worry, we got this. But they are doing fine as well. So stop worrying about what's happening beyond or around or from heaven. Let's see now messages with the tiny messages. So all that relates to your fate. Okay. So a lot of messages. When things change inside you, things change around you. Yes. Exactly. Smile, please. Smiling. 
You are awesome. And stay positive. Can you see these are just letters? <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, time to receive your letters, time to receive your messages. These are beautiful. So let's continue now with the other techniques. Let's go. Pile number two, let's see your charms. <laughs> Princess, the crown. Just felt, of course, I can be prince. Maybe you'll find your prince, charming princess. Could also be a name, um, a little name, if you have a lover or if you have a crush. But here I'm saying that if you stick to things and anchor yourself, you can actually get a reward with evolution and transition. We have W, U, and W. Whoa. Wow. I don't know. Um, if I turn it, it's kind of like mom. So it could be an extra message. And we have four, one, and four. So four is about stability and commitment. And number one is new beginning. Could also be a new union or uniting of somebody. Kind of getting win or energy with W as well. Or like a wow, you know, just doing something that's wow. Having hopes for the future will help you to also attract the best things. Keep on smiling, wait for the things that you want. Could also be in Christmas, you may read for something important. I'm kind of seeing, you know, a blessing coming through, you know, the stars and the season appearing here. But I'm also seeing this as success for you. So experiencing a lot of success, empowerment with the crown that you saw. And as for the tail with the mirror made, I'm seeing this as a travel. And that is exactly what we saw, you know, with the boat in that transition. Cheer yourself up, keep on going with a cheerleader pom pom. And we have music appearing here with a piano. So, could be talking to you personally, or well, that can also be related to what's part of your fate to find harmony, create your own musicality. So, all this is coming. Let's see now with the stickers. So, what's part of your fate? This will be impressive and I'm sure you're praying for the best and you'll get the best. Then we have confession, so a new love is coming, I believe in. Can you see that the shy boy and the confession? I can see the scene for sure. And the girl's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm saying you're wanting to stay alone and stay at home. Maybe this is also why this person feels like, is this the right moment? I don't know. Yeah, or well maybe there's a situation, maybe feeling angry or just uh, something happened. Here, but I'm saying you have fun with this person, you feel light with this person, you feel good with this person, or on your own actually. It doesn't have to be with this person. Because you can see this hermit mode, uh, staying cozy, having fun, doing the things you like. I think that's also why if you have a person interested about you and if you don't feel ready to be with this person, you can feel like, nope, I want some time alone, I want to celebrate. Good luck is coming for you, as you can see. And celebration as well, being happy. And that celebration can also be a birthday party. So if this is your birthday, happy birthday. And here we have a band, a group. So it could be a, a group of friend um, that you're manifesting, soul family, we talked about this before. What else am I seeing? It could also be that the person that is in love with you, maybe working with you or is around you as a group. So friends, co-workers, neighbors, um, somebody in your team or doing maybe doing music with you, writing music, creating, I don't know. Maybe with a cheerleader it could also be. So this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this beautiful fate and energy. And if you know here, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next reading. 
So bond number three, let's see what is coming for you related to your fate. So first, you can see the jump on the scar. So that is really encouraging yourself to trust yourself in the process and to be confident with the things that you desire. You can see the way it's floating and dancing. If you want to be a dancer performer, that's also the hint that I'm seeing here for you. But anything that is you reaching for higher state, higher status, higher jobs or higher whatever, it is for you. And you shouldn't be actually taking anything that's on the ground or at your level. No, try to see what's higher, what you want to reach, what is something you want right now that is going to make your life change and transform in a way that's going to be transformative for you. So there is part of ascension and trust in the process because you know you can make that happen and you know you deserve what's higher. Even here, we have success with the sun. So reach for higher things, higher state of being, higher emotions, higher just embodiment. So all this beautiful energy, because you embody or just lead the way towards it, it will be actually manifesting around you and and vibrating higher but anything that you want it is not something easy I believe or anything that's supposed to happen related to your fate it shouldn't be offered with too much ease in a way it's like okay I see you can get that or you can you can do that thing but you came here to master and level up be aware of this and this is why the card is showing you that aspect of growth and surrender but also in a way that's telling you okay time to now lead the way towards oops towards you know that liberation because you know what what it's like to be in the ocean but you don't know what it's like to be feeling the clouds you know on your body caressing you so this is really in a way for you to see what is something you can reach and experience next that you never experienced before i know you mastered something and you may be satisfied about it but try to see what's next what's higher what is something you wanted to try all along but never gave yourself a chance to try now it is the time and with the blue color i'm seeing creativity but also communication because that's the throat chakra and with the clouds again heads in the clouds so dreaming big about what you want and getting it because you can see success with the sun so <laughs> and this is all very connected you'll see so we have victory with a chariot a sense you know, for me, the chariot is a leader. This is for me, somebody who is not going to listen to anything people say. They know where they're traveling to and what they want to explore. And that is also the type of energy you could see. So much confidence, strength and empowerment, but freedom as well in a way that you decide what you desire and not settling down for the things that are too easy. So you're leading the way towards victory because you are a warrior, because you're not giving importance to anything that is you know, just reachable, you're like, no, I want that thing instead of that thing, you know? So it's like, okay, time to lead, time to impress, time to shine. You saw that. So time to shine because you have the potential to do it. You are stronger, believe me. And if they do not see it, they're blind that's all. But you're shining so bright that I don't even know how they cannot see that you are meant to be successful. How they cannot see that you are the one. Are How they cannot see that you are meant to actually impact with that mastery, with your own being. And if you trust it, trust me, you're going to lead yourself towards this, this chapter where it's going to be satisfying. It's going to be so rewarding because in the process of trusting yourself you can now reach for higher things and attract your way the things that you were dreaming about i know that sometimes you may feel like it's not possible i know that sometimes you may doubt your potential and doubt yourself or just believe no it's too high nothing is too high okay nothing because you're a star, you're the sun, and you're not meant to be down there, you're meant to shine in the sky, you're meant to be seen, and to also impact and empower the mass with what you do. And this card talks about triumph as well, so that is for me showing the recognition with what you do, because you're shining higher, because you can impact more people. So your fate, first, is about to trust, to reach for higher levels, to not settle down for what's 
easy. I said it probably three or three times, I guess. Um, but definitely you have to follow this. And that's Cancer energy, which is the month. So that is also showing you now is the best time for you to lead the way towards victory, for you to be a warrior, for you to be a leader, for you to be fearless. So you can get what you want, which is that success, happiness, satisfaction, recognition. If you want to be on the spotlight, that's also a sign for you. And here we have resurrection, I think, the god of resurrection. So it could also be that you came here and incarnated on earth because you came here to shine. And I'm sure you can be a star seed as well, or you can be inspired about people are shining bright ever since you're a kid because you knew that your mission and purpose was to also be shining, was to also have an impact. And if you know deep down this was the case, trust your light and I know I've been there myself when I was a kid I always wanted to just be popular for some reason I knew I was meant to be actually seen by a lot of people and I'm so glad I can do it on YouTube and actually connect with you guys and share my light with you so just trust that and, and do your best to make it happen because you can make that happen you can see that jump but you have to have faith in yourself and to understand that this path is for the bold. This path is for the warriors. And you can make that triumphant victory happen only if you remove that from your perspective or mindset. Because here with the Five of Cups, which I think I took this extra card for this group because this was like a warning or some type of transition that's needed for you to welcome the best and the sun. So this in itself is telling you, I know you feel maybe depressed or you don't have the energy to fulfill right now or feel like it because you define that story yourself. You feel like you don't have enough or maybe you don't feel like you have enough energy or maybe you are not seeing the potential and talents that are really within you because maybe you gave too much importance to what people had to say about you but now the story is different if you give yourself to write it differently. So instead of crying out what you're losing, what you was losing in the process to become that powerful person, Instead, try to see what's available, what's next for you. Because on the cards, you can see the cups on the floor. Okay, these represent things that were not working for you. But on the back, if you're looking at it, if you're not crying over what you have lost, you will recognize that things are still standing and things are still presented to you. So these two cups, it's like a hope. Hope for you to keep on holding to your dreams and to actually believe in yourself enough to be manifesting what you want. But do not give too much importance to your current reality, current state, especially if you feel this way, because the sun is about to shine. And like I said, this is transitioning towards happiness and towards success and that victory and triumph. So <laughs> I'm really, I'm really saying for you guys, it's kind of like gloomy days are over and the sun is finally entering back the scene so you can experience the best. So let's see with the next cards what's about to come related to the secrets of your fate. But honestly, the secret is about you becoming a star, becoming the sun, becoming successful, being bold, um, being unapologetically yourself and to not give too much importance to that gloomy aspect of things or just the feelings that may hold your power back. No, no more. No more. I mean, you can see you're just leading the way like, let's go, let's move on. Let's build that empire. Let, let's shine so bright that nothing like this gloominess and darkness is going to affect me anymore. No, it's time. It's time to finally experience the best. And I'm going to allow myself to experience the best even here. You can see the chains. Time to break that down. Time to finally free yourself from anything that is holding you back, like I said. So the sword has the power also to break these, um, these cords or these, whatever that is, um, the chains. So the chains may represent anything that is holding you back, whether it's internal things um, or external things. But you have to be aware we give external things power. So that's all about us. Because <laughs> trust me, if you do not care about what people say, what people do, uh, what they believe about you, or what they want you to do, you are free, okay? So this is also telling you time to free yourself from rather the conditioning in your mind, the limiting beliefs about yourself, the fears, the blockages. You came here to shine. Just understand that. And if people cannot see that potential, 
I think I said it in the beginning, they're just blind. So don't, don't even, they're probably in the clouds just saying whatever they want about their own story and just take what is relevant to what was working for them and the rest, they do not see anything possible for anyone. So their story, their opinions, their chatter, it is just about them. But you know better, okay? <laughs> so lead the way, lead the way and trust yourself more. And dash. So again, you can see this bold energy. Oh, I'm not going to stop myself. I'm not going to lead the way towards what they want me to do. But instead, I'm going to reach for higher things. So that is again showing if you believe, if you push harder, if you trust and follow with more energy and confidence what you want, your life is going to change. But you have to start believing and, and start taking actions to make that happen so freedom is needed and i'm sure you guys are pointing these things out because you may feel like a prisoner or you may feel i don't know like you are holding yourself back or staying in your cocoon of safety but being safe can be actually putting yourself in the prison putting yourself in a cocoon and you're not seeing the um, the possibilities so instead free yourself be bold and, and lead the way towards anything that is in resonance with what you want right now and not anything that's too easy. So let's see more cards related to your fate and secrets connected to them. I'm seeing a grounding energy for the first card. This is a bit too much. We have find peace within you. And honestly, we talked about this, you know, instead of crying out and giving too much importance to what is making you feel drained or unhappy, then now try to see what is making you feel peaceful. You know, when there is a storm happening within you or outside of you, what is grounding yourself? Just like the mountains. This is this grounding energy you have to cultivate and trust and follow or just animate within you back so you can just find more peace and so lead the way with more ease just like the razor it's smoothly passing by so the energy is very very um like very grounding and calming so that's actually what's meant for you and what's coming for you so you can also attract the sun's energy powerful creator i made my own destiny <laughs> Yes, and you are creating your own destiny. Anything that, that aligns with your fate, you create it. You're a powerful creator. So anything that you want right now, anything that is, you know, that image or vision of success for you, create it. You're powerful enough to make that happen. And you saw that on the cards. I mean, the sun, the chariot, and here again, powerful creator. You're unstoppable and you're meant to be unstoppable. So trust yourself. And because you're making your own destiny, that is reminding yourself that you can create anything you desire. Um, anything that can be off track or that's not satisfying for you, you can release it and change the story right now. You just have to decide and believe. So let's see more cards related to your destiny. All that is coming for you. All the secrets. A bit too much. They told me to take it out, to take it. Look at the connection, I'm, I'm mind blown. See from above, it, could you see it? See from above, having a higher perspective, higher goals, but also see from above, that's opening your eyes to see the current reality. This is not your future. This is not even describing your potential. This is not even a trap, a prison for you. No, break free from this. Create differently. See from above. See from your soul's perspective. Do not give importance to things especially if you're not satisfied with them. So your fate is to be designed. Your fate is in your hands. But you have to see, not from this human experience, but instead see what you're capable to do right now as a powerful creator, as the universe itself, because you are. So let's see one more card. Okay. So we have the call, don't touch my phone, <laughs> muggle. <laughs> okay, so this is from Harry Potter, of course, the reference. But the call can be the calling. So what is calling you right now? Or what have you been talking to on the phone, maybe, that 
you know is relevant and worth fighting for. So this is the call for you. But also I think this reading is pretty much the call for you to trust yourself and for you to know all that is coming is supporting that success, is supporting your happiness and not supporting this emotional state because you deserve better, because something better is coming if you allow the universe to design it and transfer it in the reality but in order for you to receive you have to be like the radio you have to be on the same frequency okay so that's your calling to align that's your calling to recharge that's your calling to maybe meditate and recenter and now raise your vibration and frequency so you can attune to the reality that you want okay so that is the call but also you have to know what is the calling what is the purpose what is something you want right now so you can get it in order for you to get what you want sending the plan or the recipe to the universe to cook it in your reality this has to be done now let's see some messages related to your fate from your guides angels that's too much all that relates with the secrets okay we have this one clear sentience i'm smiling because yesterday i was talking to a friend and i told him you are a clear sentience because you can feel things before even seeing this happening in your reality so if you've been feeling this way yourself if you really can tap into the energy and feel things before um that is also because you have that power so notice your recurrent physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance so you're guided and you know you're so stepping into this energy for a reason but they're guiding you as well how you feel how you respond rather to energy situations and people so try to really actually look deep down and ask yourself what am i feeling right now what is this telling me for example so this one take back your power <laughs> I mean, you saw that, right? With powerful creator, take back your power. And even with the sun, we can see. And also that is like, I'm taking it back. You know, I'm not looking for things here. I'm taking that power back. As you can see, embrace it. So use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. embrace the blessings it's coming for you and that's because you're powerful enough to now receive i told you you are the universe experiencing itself so when you can attune to a certain frequency and power then you can attract that in your reality everything is a mirror and if you can actually use that in your advantage you can create your life your reality the best way possible now let's see with tiny messages all that you need to know related to your fate I saw one message and I was like, of course. So I'll read it. You can change the world. That's your mission. That's your fate. And you can do it. Don't even doubt it. I'm jealous of the people who get to see you every day. So it could be that you're jealous because you may like a certain person. You want to be with a certain person. But that can also be a message from somebody. Work hard. Be humble. Old ways don't open new doors. Say yes to new adventures. Surround yourself with people who believe in your dreams, encourage your ideas, support your ambitions, and bring out the best in you. Absolutely. And you deserve these people and these things. So let's continue with the other techniques. Let's go. Pile number three, let's see your charms. Okay. D, C, F, O. I heard Cliff for this one. So I don't know if this is a name or maybe somebody who lives maybe next to the beach where there's a cliff or something like that. DC. I heard decision for this. Life. Life decision could be the code for you guys. Here, with 
the lizard i'm seeing adaptation so needed to adapt to things stick to the things you want adapt to colors like the chameleon let's say for you to be creating maybe the dream life i mean d life cd interesting can also be music also follow your dreams anything that you want anything that you're passionate about with you know the cloud trust your intuition as well in the process with the owl as for the brack i'm saying that you need to clear the path to explore with more freedom what you want and for the moon because with the full moon but the moon charm for me relates to maybe what we fear what we are anxious about but also what is pointing out the clarity that we need to free ourselves and follow what we want so what we dream about i think that's also a way with the moon telling you if you follow your intuition, you're never wrong and you will always find the answers that you need to be living the best life. So follow this direction. Let's see now with the stickers. So what's part of your fate? The secrets about it. Let's reveal it. so good things take time so there's a process with manifestations you can see seduction something tasty is about to come or could be someone who is tasty with the wave you can see something coming it's like the waves uh, when it comes to life things come and go and you have to appreciate the cycles of it the movement of life there's also the fog at the distance so something can be Maybe a bit foggy, you may not have all the answers, but this is about to come. Stocked on life. It's funny because even with the letters, I saw life. So just feeling stoked. Um, and with the, the, again, the wave, I'm seeing you surfing it. I'm seeing you actually manifesting that wave of success. And with the bright sun, just expect actually you to shine so bright. And this is so in resonance with what we talked about on the cards. But also expect, if you want to, of course, a travel, which is going to make you feel more grateful and happy. Long time no see. So it could be somebody who is popping back, or that can be on a soul level meeting soulmates or soul people um, from your soul family and here we have the color chart and that can be related to art creation painting especially for this one but of course it is all related to your dreams all that you want to paint in your reality so all this is coming for you so this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this beautiful fate and energy. And if you know him, you to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next reading.